Hi there, everyone. I've uh, I've done these before on the forum. These are steering wheel locks. They hook into your steering wheel, and of course you've got the key for it. Slide that out across the steering wheel, and uh, and lock it. It's a bit awkward here because these are a bit big, but there it is unlocked. There's a series of holes up there, so when you slide it across inside your steering wheel, you can lock it. So, I've got to re-lock this, I've just opened it. Okay, it's locked there, I can't get it out. Now, the thing about these is, you're never going to be able to see this, I know. You've got a series of uh, dimples around the key and one down there but also you've got a very small dimple under that one another I think there's a small one under there and there's definitely a small one under there so I think I've actually got one of these locks out but I don't know how to get the bloody thing to bits so I may just have to hit it with a hacksaw or the grinder and destroy it to find work out exactly how they operate. But I would say this you can feel another pin in another uh, well it's either a pin I suppose. Could be a ball bearing but it's probably a pin. But I think there's one, two, three, four, five, I think there's six actually in there. So, and it's not the typical tubular lock that you people are probably familiar with because uh, the little, I don't know what you call it, keyway bit is on the outside. It's on the outside, it's not internal. That's not the right key for it, I haven't got a key for that one. Alright, well look, without further ado, <coughs> we'll have a go getting this uh, again it's a homemade thing it's really hard to try and get that to hold and turn it successfully but uh, but it works and that's all it has to do uh, that's just a uh, piece of wiper insert I've actually ground the bottom a little bit so it's got a bit of a T section on it so I can get under this when I'm in there and uh, you just slowly work all them pins in but it is very awkward I've got to try and make a, a, a tensioner that's a lot better than this but it's really hard because the bloody thing is on the outside of the lock. There it is. Okay, there it goes. Just gone. Unlocked. Okay, now we have to turn that back around to re-lock it. There you go, it's locked again. Alright, well that's one. Let's see if I can be uh, successful in getting two. Bloody awkward things to try and put in a vise. Right, it's locked. Let's see if I can get this one as well. That camera's still in angle there. Let's see if I can be successful two times in a row. See, this one's harder because the, the little notch there is sort of rounded a little bit and it's really hard to hold this. This one, in fact, may not work. 
to sand a BM brass, you really got to get a good fit in there. And, oh, that one feels better. All right, we'll try this one. Trying to push all them pins back. Dude, this one actually might work. Feels good anyway. Yeah, well, there's two of them. There's four in here. I can see two. I think it's that second one below the main one that gives you the trouble. I think it's mainly the one that's either side of that tensioner there because you can't get into it properly. It's the one under that bloody tensioner and I can't get into it properly. that perhaps I've overset something. This is probably pretty ugly to watch but get a tensioner in there properly. See, it bloody spins. If you could get a decent idea for a tensioner to hold, to turn it, it'll work, but I just can't come up with an idea. Bloody thing is so close, but I just can't get it. Sort of in this tension wrench here and you just can't get it to hold properly. Maybe I need to make a bigger T piece on the end to get under it. There it goes. Got it. Open. Sorry that took longer than I had hoped, but uh, it's all in these tension wrenches and I just can't come up with an idea to make a decent one that works properly. Mainly because that cutaway is in the top, it's not internal. If it was internal, well, piece of cake. But being on top and being brass, it, uh, it uh, burns the edge off really quick, so you've got to be careful. But anyway... Here we go. We got the both of them. Alright, thanks for watching that. Uru.